Breaking is an incredible dance that's valid, it has foundation, it has vocabulary, there are names for all the moves. You know, it's not someone throwing themselves on the ground. Nowadays, the dance has branched out so much. You know, you got the original b-boy style and footwork. You have the power moves. So sometimes you got brothers with b-boy moves, you know, real original text going up against guys with power moves that hardly have no b-boy text. How are you gonna judge that? The neutral people that don't know anything might go for the power moves because it's really dynamic. Five years ago, when I came here, everybody had backpacks with a helmet hanging from it, and they were breaking without sneakers, or some of them were breaking with sneakers, but all they were doing were flare windmills in 90s. Not many people had the foundation down. Not many people did four. Not many people hit freezes. It's like if you go to an audition, a jazz dancer coming to a b-boy audition, you know, just because he could do those continuous backspins, which the commercial public knows as windmills, you know, just because he could do that doesn't mean that he's a b-boy. He's just an idiot that learned how to spin on his back. He has no style, no flavor, no feel for it. So there is a beat and there is a rhythm to this music. It isn't about how how dynamic your move is, but it, it's about like the, 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 the feeling that you can express with the dance. Dance is about expression, and a lot of people have seemed to have forgotten that. All the spinning is dope. I ain't knocking it, it's dope. But you need the style and the finesse. And when they b-boy back in the days, it was what up. You know, it was, it was, you, you could see it in their bones and their face. You could, you could see it in their body. You gotta get that charisma back in there. Now, as a b-boy, I'm still trying to be competitive. I think b boy represents you trying to dig deep to find something that you haven't seen done, which is very hard. I mean, there's no difference from like Ken Swift or like Barishnikov, you know, some things that I've seen a lot of these breakers do is just like, that is yeah. nuts. True dancers, whether you're from tap or ballet or, or modern or jazz, they look at it as an art form already. I mean, they see it and they're like, wow, I mean, that's incredible. I don't know one class nationwide in America that's not teaching street dance. At every formal dance studio, you read the list, and I have street dance in there. I'm creating this brand new dance academy, the Debbie Allen Dance Academy. And I actually had a young man here teaching break dancing, specifically that, because it is unique unto itself. It is a technique like ballet, like African, like hip hop. <laughs>